Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Unfortunately, the first segment of my um, video was messed up, so I did decide I had enough of the video left to um, save it. So this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and I am doing a straight pour on it and with metallics and some satin enamel. I will put in the description all the colors that I used. My base coat here is um, two parts of the Blick Titanium White, and then I used one part DecoArt Satin Enamel Pure White and one part of a Dutch Boy paint that I had. It's a Forever Satin Enamel in light blue. Those three components made up the base coat that I already had laid down. Now the paints that I am using there, the colored paints, are a lot of the deco art, the deco art pearl, deco art bronze, antique, the deco art deep sapphire, and um, the one paint that I used that was not the deco art was the Porage Posse antique copper metallics. And again, I will list all of that in the description. Here you see me just putting some of the base coat around my pore to help it move. I can tell you today my pouring medium was two parts, excuse me, one part Floetrol to one part GAC 800 and then I used a squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium. And I used about two parts of the pouring medium with one part paint. Here I just start that tipping process and I am tipping it slow, being mindful of what I wanna keep and what I want to let run off the canvas. There is a lot of little white spots in my painting today. That's because I just did mix these paints this morning, whereas if I would have mixed them last night and let them set, I wouldn't have had so many air bubbles come up and leave those little white spots like that. In my opinion, those little white spots, especially in this painting, kind of looks like the sky. I am pretty happy with how these deco art paints played together. And you will see near the end, the only thing that I was a little bit disappointed in is that that bronze didn't come through that much. And I wished I would have been able to uh, bring out more of the bronze. Still just doing some slow tipping here, trying to bring back um, what's going on in the center back to the center again after each tip to the corners. And about this, this is where I decided that that center is getting a little wonky and there really wasn't a whole lot that I could do with that uh, to prevent that. So I just kind of go with the flow here with my tipping. One of the the prettiest colors, I think, is that uh, Deep Sapphire from DecoArt. Here you'll see that I keep picking things out of the paint, and it really was just, I think one of my paints didn't um, mix totally through, and there were some lumps there that I continuously try to take out as I'm tipping. And again, here I am just putting a little bit more of the Flow Extender on there with the base coat. This paint was not real, real thick. Um, unfortunately, I, I had that in the first part of the video where I did show you the consistency. It, it didn't even leave a mound. Just maybe a little trace was all. I did get my inspiration for this pour from Gina DeLuca. What I'm trying to do here is get the bolder cells that Gina gets when she uses the satin enamel and the deco art paints. And as you can see, I am starting to bring up some of those boulders there. 
those bold, bigger, bolder cells. And if you watch Gina DeLuca's channel also, you'll know that she does tip very slowly, being mindful of that composition at all times. Again, just picking out a few lumps here and there. Because if you don't pick those lumps out, they, they will um, change the, the look of your painting. And right there, I am trying to keep some of that copper and that bronze on the corner. You can see me running my hands under the canvas too, and that's I'm continuously cleaning off all the uh, paint that has dripped underneath the canvas there. Here I decide I have quite a bit of paint left on my canvas and this is the area that I can um, get rid of some of that paint, just tip it off. And in this close uh, corner here, you can see the, the metallic copper and bronze and also in the other corner there too, kitty corner to it. Just still working on that composition making sure that I get enough paint off that canvas because I don't want to have it crack. And here's a quick torch just before we get you down for the close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I'm trying to show you the whole painting here. I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, my goal was to get those big boulder cells with using that uh, satin enamel, and I did do that. So let's go over the whole painting. Again, it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and here is the upper left-hand corner. I think, if anything, I wish that that bronze would have shown through a little more just a couple of areas of that and that's why i didn't want to do any more tipping because the bronze and the copper that did come through i wanted to keep it just going down the left hand side you can see these big boulders here pretty happy with that and because i just mixed this paint this morning that's why you're seeing those little white cells in there. That That's my fault. I should have mixed it last night and let it sit. And I would have gotten less air bubbles, but that's the way it goes. Let's just go up here. More of the big boulders. That's the area I'm really happy with is in here. The paint did its thing. This is more or less going up the middle. I do like this area right here. I did stretch it out a little bit. And the big boulders there. And we're coming over here to the bottom right corner. And here's another area where the bronze and the copper did show up. I have some big blue cells there and just going up the right hand side here now pretty in here and that's the upper right hand corner so let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it make sure you share it 
with other artist friends that you think would enjoy this process. Um, make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Consider subscribing if you haven't to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.